Hello, welcome back to Animated Literacy. Today we're going to be learning about a character named Eve who leaps over city streets and streams and tall buildings and, and bridges and baseball fields. Before we learn about Eve though, we're going to go back and do a little bit of review of our last character. Our last character that we introduced was Old Joe Crow. And here's Old Joe Crow and here he is in his boat and after he ended up not being the fastest at flying, what did he learn to do? He learned to be the only crow who could row a boat. So pretend to row your boat with Old Joe Crow by putting your arms out like this, take hold of one oar in each arm, and then pull back on those oars with a great big groan and go, oh, for Old Joe Crow's sound. Now we've been practicing Bay A Bay to play with consonants. Today we're going to turn it around a little bit and play with some vowel sounds. So let's go back and just review Bay A Bay for a moment here. Show me bowing. Bay A Bay. Bay E B. Bay I Binny Bye. Bay O Binny Bye Bo. Bay U Bow Binny Bye Bo. Bow Bow. Show me crazy. Well, this is such a silly song, it doesn't mean a thing. Never mind the silly words, just pick a sound and sing. Now today, instead of picking a consonant, the way we were doing last time, we're going to start to pick some vowels. So yesterday, or last in our last lesson, we learned about Old Joe Crow rowing his boat. So if we take Baby Barnaby's sound, and instead of singing bay, we change the A to Old Joe Crow's sound, what's it going to be? Bow. So let's try that with bow. And every time you hear where bay would be, instead of singing bay, I want you to sing bow and show me rowing your boat. So let's try that, ready? Bow A bay, bow E beat, Bow I binny by bow oh boy binny by bow bow you bow binny by bow bow wow This is such a silly song it doesn't mean a thing Never mind the silly words just pick a sound and sing So now if we pick actress Annie's sound her sound is what? Ah for adding on your abacus. And if we put that after B, what do we get? Ba A Bay, Ba E Beat, Ba I Binny Bye, Ba O oh Boy, Binny Bye Bo, Ba You Bow, Binny Bye Bo, Bow Wow. Then if we pick Arnie Aardvark's sound, what's Arnie's sound? Reach up and grab the high bar, pretend your arm's a high bar, and go R. Now, if you put R after B, what do you have? Bar. So let's put that into our song. Ready? Bar A Bay. Bar E Beat. Bar I Binny by. Bar O oh Boy. Binny by Bo. Bar You Bow. Binny by Bo. Bar Wow. Now, if we reach up and we pick Lulu Musa's sound, Wiggle your loose tooth and go, ooh, and if we put that after b, what do we get? Boo. So let's try that now. Boo a bay, boo e beat, boo i binny by, boo o oh boy, binny by bo, boo you bow, binny by bo, boo wow. This is such a silly song doesn't mean a thing never mind the silly words just pick a sound and sing so here's ollie ostrich what's his sound ah and if we put ah after b what do we get b ah or ba ready ba a bay ba e beat ba i binny by ba oh boy Binny by bo ba you bow binny by bo ba wow now if we could just take and move those quickly through our song it would do like this bo a bay 
ba e beat bar i binny by boo o oh boy binny by bo ba you bow binny by bo be wow so that's another way that we can play with our vowel sounds okay after playing with old joe crow's sound we did some drawing and labeling with old joe crow's sound so here's the paper that I finished after the lesson, and I asked you to go back and do some more labeling on your page, and you can even add a couple things that we didn't draw last time. And on my page, I added a bowl, which has Old Joe Crow sound, and he spells it with an O-W in bowl. And I added a home, where he spells it with O-blank-E, like with cone and bone. And so then I gave it a title down at the bottom of my page, so I wrote Old Joe Crow's Word List, because these are all words on Old Joe Crow's list that have his sound in them. And then I started putting some words to describe. And here, for my goat, he had a coat, and I put a furry coat. And over here, for our roof, I put a red roof. And down here, I put a small home. Now, when you're trying to think of adjectives to describe all of those nouns that we've drawn pictures of, we've talked about you don't have to always think of one. Instead, you can go to our word list. And here's the word list that came from Bark Park. And so Bark Park started out reading like this. Hound dog, round dog, on the run. Strolling, rolling, having fun. And all of these are adjectives that can be used to describe nouns up here. And all of these are verbs that tell what nouns can do. So if you use your word list, you can put the sounds together to figure out those words and then write the words off the list on your pages to describe all of your nouns. In our last lesson, we rewrote a version of Skip to My Lou so that we could put our crow into our song. So if you have this paper, take out your paper, put your finger up in the air, and let's see if you can point to the words and sing it along with me. Ready? Down on Grandpa's farm there is a old, bold crow. Down on Grandpa's farm there is an old, bold crow. The crow, it makes us sound like this caw, caw. The crow, it makes a sound like this, ka, ka. So see if you can point to those words as you sing the song. Then we can turn this into a hide and seek to help us remember some of the words. So put your reading finger up in the air like this. And when I name a word, I want you to see how quickly you can find that word in the song and put your finger on it. Find the word on. Oh, there I've got my finger under on. I hope you've got your finger on on. Who can show me the sounds in the word on? On. Who can tell me the letters in the word on? O N. Now let's find another word. Ready? Find the word it and put your finger on it. Oh, here it is. Found it right here. Show me the sounds you hear in it. It. Tell me the letters that we use to spell it. I-T. Find the word this on your page. Here I found it, right here. Show me the sounds in this. Th this. Which of those sounds is spelled with two letters instead of one letter? The thick thorny thing sound. And what two letters did we use for the thick thorny thing sound? T and H. Then I took, and at the top of my page, I drew a picture of Grandpa on his farm and the old, bold crow that's on the farm and the barn that you might find on the farm and did some more labeling. So this is really important because what we need to learn how to do is to read the words and then create the picture from the words. We don't want to be just looking at pictures and guessing words. Instead, we want to use words to create pictures. So that's what we're doing here is generating our, our pictures 
from our words. And that's what you'll have to do when there's no more word pictures in your books anymore. You have to create those pictures in your mind. So that's what we're practicing doing here. And so I gave it a title up here at the top, Grandpa's Farm. And here's all of the labeling we did. And I labeled the crow Joe, because in our song we had Joe Crow, and Joe uses the O-E pattern. Well, today we're going to be learning about a girl who has a problem. So here is Eve. Can you say Eve? And so that's her name. And Eve's problem is getting to school. She loves going to school. She likes to get to school early. But Eve lives way out in the country. And here's some of the ways that other boys and girls get to school. So you can read about ways to get to school in this book. This is the way we go to school. Eve has to walk to go to school. And so she has to go through a forest because she lives way out in the country and she has to walk all around these trees. She can't go through the trees or over the trees. She has to walk around the trees. Then she comes to a stream like you see here where the frog is in the middle of the stream and she can't go through that wet stream. She has to walk all the way to a bridge so she can cross over the stream. Then she comes to some baseball fields on her way to school. Well, she can't go right through the middle of the baseball game. She has to go all the way around the baseball game. Then finally she gets to the city and she comes to some busy streets with the cars going by and she has to wait for the cars to go by and she has to wait for a green light so the cars can stop and then she has to use the crosswalk to get across the street. Well, while she's doing all this, she sees all these other animals that don't have to wait. She sees how ducks and geese can just fly over the baseball fields and the city streets and the streams and not have to wait. She sees how frogs can leap over and they don't have to wait. Even little tiny bugs have wings to fly over the top or they can take great big hops and go over. She sees the bumblebees and they don't wait. What do they do? They just use their wings to go right over the top. And her favorite of all of these are the eagles who just take, spread out their wings like this and they can just float or soar on the winds over the tops of the trees and the streams and the baseball fields without having to wait. And even a grasshopper has wings that it can use and not have to wait, or it has these really long springy legs that it can go over the top. So Eve thinks about this a lot, and she thinks about two of her favorite characters, how Wonder Woman and Superman can leap tall buildings with a single bound, and she wishes that she could do that. So one night, Eve was sleeping, and she began to dream. And as she dreamed, she was dreaming about having to go over that baseball field. But instead of having to go over the baseball field, she ended up being able to do like she does with her little brother. And here's Eve playing leapfrog with her little brother. And she can leapfrog over her brother, but she can't leapfrog over the fields and the streams and the city streets, except in her dream, guess what? She takes a great big leap and over the top she goes and she doesn't have to wait. And so here she is in her dream, leaping over the top of a stream. And as she leaps, she always made this sound in her dream. She goes, eee, as she goes over the top. Can you do that? Eee, and so she makes that squeaky E sound. So in her dream, she got to school early because she didn't have to wait for all those things. Then she woke up the next morning and it seemed like that dream was real. Have you ever had a dream that the next day you thought maybe it was real? Maybe you didn't just dream it? So she decided to go out and see if it was real and if in fact she had learned how to leap. Well, there were three green trees in her yard and she looked at those trees and she thought, well, I'll give this a try. And she leaped as high as she could and she went right over the top of those three green trees without touching a single leaf. But the trees she leaped over were only 
three inches high, and this is about three inches. So now whenever you see our picture of Leaping Eve, I want you to think about how Eve leaps. Make her three green trees with your fingers like this. Take your other hand and put your hand on your knee. And as you leap over the top of those three trees to your from one knee to the other, I want you to say this sound and go, eee! Now I can't make it real squeaky, but I'll bet you can make it a lot squeakier than I can. So let's see if you can do that. Ready? Eee! Over the top of the trees. So that's the sound that we're going to be learning today. So now if we put Eve's E sound into bay A bay and we go B E, what's it going to say? B. So let's try that now. Ready? B E beat, B E B, B I binny by, B O boy, binny by bo, B U bow, binny by bo, B wow. So that's our sound for today. So now we're going to learn how Eve sings her song. So warm your muscles up and I'll teach you the words for Eve's song. Ready? First of all, we'll make our three green trees and we'll leap over the top. So sing this after me. Ready? Eve can leap. Eve can leap. Now make a great big tree that she's leaping over. So here's the branches of the tree. Over trees. Over trees. Now show me how she sleeps like this. In her sleep. In her sleep. Make your trees again. She leaps with ease. She leaps with ease. Now a baseball field is a diamond like this. So make your baseball field with your diamond. Over fields and trees. Over fields and trees. And then make your city street like this. And even city streets. And even city streets. Eve can leap. Eve can leap. Three trees with ease, three trees with ease. Now, Eve can spell her sound with two E's. And here's two E's that she uses to spell her sound. So how can you make E's with your fingers again? So an E has a curve like this for a little E, and then a line coming into it like this. So you can make an E like this, or for a capital E, you can stick your fing three fingers out like this for a capital E. So let's sing that. Ready? With two E's, with two, two E's. Eve spells E. Eve spells E. Now another way she can spell it, in like in field, is I-E. So can you make an I and then an E? An I and then an E. So... I-E spells long E in field. I-E spells long E in field. And there's a field at the end of city. Y can spell long E. So a Y at the end of a word can spell long E. And I can make my Y like this, the end of city. At the end of city. Y can spell long E at the end of city. Y can spell long E. And finally, another way to spell it is with an E and an A. So you could make your capital E like this and then make your A like that. E A spells long E in leap. E A spells long E in leap. So let's try that again. Ready? Eve can leap, Eve can leap over trees, over trees in her sleep, in her sleep. Eve leaps with ease, Eve leaps with ease over fields and trees, over fields and trees and even city streets and even city streets. Eve can leap. Eve can leap three trees with ease. Now we're going to talk about how to spell it. So show me two with two E's, 
with two E's. Eve spells E. Eve spells E. I E spells long E in field. I E spells long E in field. At the end of city, at the end of city. Y can spell long E. Y can spell long E. E A spells E A spells long E in leap. Long E in leap. Now let's try that and see if you can do the motions while I point to the words. Ready? city streets Eve can leap three trees with ease with two E's Eve spells E I E spells long E in field at the end of city Y can spell long E E A spells long E in leaf So what's our sound for Eve? What's our sound for Eve? E. So now when you get your paper for Eve, I want you to think about how Eve likes to leap and rainbow write over all the different patterns that she can use to spell her sound. And in our next lesson, we'll be using those patterns to label some pictures that we'll draw so that you can remember how to spell her sound really well. Then turn your page over on the back and I want you to think about something from Eve's story that is like your life. Are there things that you wish you didn't have to wait for? Maybe it's like Eve waiting for a green light or, or waiting for an opportunity to go around the baseball field. Or maybe it's something else. Maybe you don't like waiting for dinner, or maybe you don't like waiting to get to go outside and play. So think of something that is difficult to wait for and how you solve that problem. How do you get to school? Eve had to go around all those different things. And we had a book at the beginning that talks about different ways to get to school. So how do you get to school? What's Eve's favorite things that leap. She liked Superman and Wonder Woman who can leap tall buildings and she liked the eagles who could spread their wings out. So what are some things up in the sky who don't have to wait, who can either leap or who can fly that maybe you wish you were like? So I hope you enjoyed Steve, Eve's story and I hope you're looking forward to drawing and learning to label some things with Eve and I hope to see you next time.